The biggest challenge facing young people in my region, I think, is in employment and how to create more job opportunities. That is only the tip of the iceberg. There are very uh, multiple layers of problems underneath. First of all, education, because without education, uh, we cannot talk uh, about any developments. The youth are manipulated from different interest groups, especially in conflict transition country. Youth are used as an object. But young people aren't getting into politics. And in consequence, the lack of opportunities for job and for education. My name is Tanya Ribolledo from Mexico. I'm Shiv Vasco Javid, I'm from India. Fatumata, I'm from Mali. Nikola Pandrich from Croatia. I'm Samar Samir Mezgani, I'm from Tunisia. Young leaders like me uh, have the responsibility of opening spaces for uh, more people to come and to join in uh, active participation, in youth participation, in active citizenship. There was only one responsibility that young people had in my country to make it a better place and we did it. It was a revolution. Uh, these days in conflict transition country, young people's responsibility is to uh, engage young people in a positive work. We would like our say on global financial agenda to be heard by the head of state and by ministers of finance of G20 countries. I think we need to you know, support and kind of guide other young people to start things of their own, either business or social. I think we need more entrepreneurs. That itself will bring about, you know, make the society better. IMF can make the world a better place by making it more stable and making it more equal. Through its network of 187 countries, the IMF can work in engaging with stakeholders other than governments. If it starts looking at social indicators uh, as well uh, and starts working in that direction, it clearly can make a big impact. By listening more to young people's concerns and letting them take decisions as well and involving them in this decision process, I think the IMF can be helping my country to become better. The biggest benefit in IMF engaging young people in a dialogue is actually giving new perspective to the policies it's making. Well, I think one of the biggest benefits is, has been to me. I mean, I've learned a lot, interacted with a lot of people. But I think also the IMF is um, opening up. I believe if the uh, International Monetary Fund engages, engages with young people in a dialogue, it will uh, listen to their concerns and involve them because we are the future because we are the ones who IMF will have to work with in the future. So it's uh, crucial to talk with us. My dream is world equality. My dream is peaceful, all free of all discrimination. My dream is for all young people to have the opportunity the best, to be the best they can become. And my dream is uh, that in 10 years, Youth empowerment will not be a critical issue. My dream is to create a voice for young people that the older generation have to listen to.